Hey guys, it's Chris. From a terrifying moth tarantula to the newest and most villainous fish in the ocean, here are 10 of the coolest and most recently discovered species. Number 10. Giant Moth Tarantula One of the most disturbing species recently discovered is a disgusting combination of a moth and a tarantula. While this creature is perfectly harmless, it's still pretty freaky to look at. It's known properly as a polyphemus moth, and it looks like a fat spider that grew moth wings. It's a wonder this thing can even fly. It's really super big, roughly the size of your hand and also incredibly rare. They have a wingspan of up to six inches, and the good news is that they're not very threatening. Just like other moths and butterflies, these animals can't bite even if they wanted to, and that's because they have no mouth parts. The weird moth tarantula can be found usually on oak trees, eating the leaves, and they only come out from between May and July, and they live for just a few weeks, laying their eggs and then dying. In the fall, you can find caterpillars turning into chrysalises strung up beneath trees all the way until the summer. This strange animal might not be a brand new species, but it's definitely rare, and it's freaky enough to put on this list. Number 9. Sea Slug Just recently, a new species of sea slug was discovered in Thailand. This little guy is fascinating to look at with a bright fleshy body and hairs that are tinted purple and white. It was discovered by divers near Koh Tao and was recently described in a research paper in which it was named properly as the Unidentia alishe. This is another stunning example of the biodiversity of sea slugs found all across the coral reefs of Thailand. It's also the newest of over 150 sea slug species in the area. It was first recorded by divers in 2009, working on a coral nursery project, but it took a little while for this creature to be put into the records. It was named after a researcher from the University of Guadalajara, and it only lives in the area around Kotao. You can't find this adorable little slug anywhere else in the world. While there are definitely similar sea slugs found across Asia, specifically in the waters near Japan, this flesh-colored marine thing is totally unique to the Gulf of Thailand. Number 8. Smog Lizard a new species of smog lizard has been discovered. And no, it's not as large as the infamous smog dragon from the Hobbit book, but it is a pretty cool critter. If anything, this little lizard would be the closest living relative to smog. The lizard has dense armor reminiscent of alligators. It lives in rock crevices and is mostly confined to the mountains of southern Africa. But it is still unknown if it's got an affinity for treasure. In 2020, a herpetologist from South Africa's National Museum discovered the ninth species of dragon lizard under the genus Smaug. The new species is a dark lizard with pale yellow bands, and its proper name is actually Smaug swazicus, or more casually known as the Swazi dragon lizard. It grows up to 13 inches from the tip of its tail to the tip of its snout, and it's fairly big for the region. It's a wonder that researchers didn't find this lizard sooner. You may also know this type of lizard as a girdled lizard, and even though they may look ferocious, they're actually quite gentle. They're like little roving tanks that move from crevice to crevice, almost never being eaten by predators because they're so spiky and hard. Number 7. Electric Eel Scientists have known all about the electric eel for at least 250 years, but they've been missing something this whole time. In 2019, researchers unveiled a shocking discovery, pun absolutely intended. Two additional electric eel species were found, and researchers published their findings in the Journal of Natural Communications. What's really startling about the new discovery is that one of the eels found has the strongest voltage to date. It was named E. Volti, and a professor from the University of Sao Paulo claims that it can discharge voltage of 860. That's outstanding considering that the strongest shock before that was only 650 volts. The discharge from this eel is not exactly enough to stun or paralyze a human being since the discharge actually has a very low amperage of only about 1 amps. In comparison, a household power outlet outputs roughly 20 amps, but still it's a pretty cool find. The eel definitely boasts enough power to scare off a predator or incapacitate a fish and then eat it. Number 6. New Spiders Depending on your feelings, this next discovery could be great or it could be a total nightmare. A minimum of six new species of spider were found in the past couple of years, and they've been named after a series of popular children's books from the 1970s. The books were written by Enid Blyton, and some of the most famous in the series were The Goblin's Looking Glass and Billy's Little Boats. 
Because these children's books inspired many young kids to go on and become scientists later on in life, it seemed fitting for the new species of spiders to be named after their characters. A professor from the National Institute of Fundamental Studies in Sri Lanka says that there are nine goblin spider species, and they're all named after characters in the book, with six of them being completely new to science. Two of them were reported for the first time outside of Australia. And most of them were discovered in Sri Lanka, a country that has at least 45 species of spider, and it's two times smaller than the state of Virginia. That's a whole lot of arachnids. Goblin spiders are actually quite difficult to spot, as they're only a few millimeters in length. They live on forest floors and are threatened by human development like most of the animals and insects in this small Asian country. Number 5. Parasite Wasps Wasps are scary enough without being parasites. A new species of wasp discovered is one of only a few found to be parasitic. The new wasp, which was discovered with help from the Rice University, is being described as an ecosystem engineer. It's at the center of a disturbing soap opera filled with vampires, mummies, and parasites. It's known as a gall wasp, and they're tiny insects with the ability of casting biochemical spells. It's actually kind of incredible. When the wasp lays its eggs on the leaves of an oak tree, they leave a chemical behind that programs the tree to unknowingly produce a sort of tumor. This is also known as a gall. The tumor, or gall, will grow to shelter the egg, and then it works to feed the larval wasp that hatches inside of it. The gall creates a sort of feeding frenzy. They attract herbivorous caterpillars who like to feed on the gall tissue. The caterpillars are then surprised when they find themselves being consumed by a bunch of wasp hatchlings. It's a vicious cycle, in which the wasps create an ideal feeding environment for other insects on the oak leaves, allowing their young to have food once they hatch from within. Number 4. 15 New Geckos Just a few years ago in Myanmar, 15 new species of gecko were found, and they were found in the space of only two weeks. This is probably one of the least explored countries on the planet due to its chaotic government and miserable track record of genocide. But in October of 2016, a team of scientists found all 15 of these geckos inside isolated limestone habitats in two different regions of the country. These new geckos are thought to be limited to the small limestone blocks in which they were found. They live among the caves, towers, and hills of the rock, and are each a unique species not found anywhere else in the world, or even anywhere else in that country. This is a prime example of secluded evolution. Basically, in a single area filled with hills and caves, only a few select species of animal like geckos, snails, and fish are thriving. It's almost like an enclosed ecosystem. The animals don't need to move away because they have all they would ever need located within a small region. It's allowed the 15 different species of gecko to take their own evolutionary courses, even though they live within walking distance of one another, and they've likely never met in thousands of years. Number 3. Ants in the Backyard In this next story, an expert on ants found a new emergent species, and he didn't have to go too far to do it. Jack Longino is an international ant expert who's traveled the world documenting all the different species of ants. But for his latest discovery in 2018, he needed only walk into his backyard. It was just after dark and he caught a glimpse of four ants inside his garden that he didn't recognize. The next day, he dug into his garden and found even more specimens. He recognized them as ants he'd seen in the tropics and wondered exactly what they were doing in Utah of all places. Jack took a few specimens back to his lab and found out that he had an entirely undiscovered species living in his garden. The embarrassing part for the ant expert was that they weren't even introduced to the area by commercial or human means. The ants in his garden were native to the area. He guessed that the ants had been living underground for centuries, but after 150 years of human irrigation, they'd been forced to move back to the surface. Number 2. So Many Plants When most of us look at a garden or when we take a stroll through the forest, we don't see that many plant species. For example, I see trees and bushes, but if you're a plant expert, you probably see thousands of different species on a single walk through the park. In 2019 alone, 10 new and exciting plant species were discovered by garden scientists, but that's actually a pretty small number. Every year, the Missouri Botanical Gardens Science and Conservation staff find and name roughly 200 different species of plants that are new to science. That makes up roughly 10% of all plant-related discoveries by scientists throughout the world on an annual basis. Most of these new discoveries are found in tropical areas, but sometimes the new ones spread up in the United States. 
For example, a brand new species of something called Trillium was discovered in Georgia in 2019 by a botanist. But it's not as easy as just looking at the plant. Because so many of them look the same, researchers have to take samples back to a lab and use genetic markers to study the species and find out if one is different from the others that have already been discovered. It's an entire process and an extremely complicated one. The fact that over 200 species of plant are discovered each year, it's kind of a little boggling to the mind. Number 1. Nightmare Fish The coolest recent animal discovery is definitely the nightmare fish. Scientists have discovered a very black fish that lives somewhere around 6,500 feet below the surface of the ocean. It is among the darkest creatures ever found by scientists. According to ABC News, the fish is being called the Ultra Black Fish, and it's so dark that it normally only appears as a silhouette. When one is captured on video, it looks like something has been photoshopped out of the picture because it's so dark. It looks more like an afterimage than an actual creature. Even out of the water, these fish look extremely black. But that's not the only thing that makes this new species scary. It's also horrendously ugly. It appears to have sharp teeth, pale white eyes, and it kind of looks like something birthed from an alternate dimension. And the reason the ultra black fish is so dark is because it reflects less than 0.5% of the light that hits it. In simpler terms, it absorbs almost all the light that touches it, making it so black it's nearly invisible. Which of these newly discovered creatures do you think is the coolest? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. If you feel so inclined, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get all the latest and greatest videos. Do you think that there are more species left to be discovered on land or in our oceans and waters?